Like a lot of businesses during the pandemic, hair salons and barber shops closed down, but they were forced to shut down their doors for weeks longer than many other Idaho businesses. Starting this weekend, however, that restriction is lifted and salon owners are sharing their reactions. Idaho News 6 reporter Steve Dent has the story. <laughs> Familiar sounds return to Cutting Up and Company. No. <laughs> And next door at Mac Barbershop, as both businesses open their doors. Oh my God, it's like Christmas. Like, it's like the best birthday party, Christmas present, just being able to come to work. Because when salons were forced to close because of COVID-19, it broke Sherry Baber's heart. I cried, literally. I cried all the way home because I've done this for 44 years and I've never been unemployed. I didn't know what that was gonna look like for me or for the ladies that work in here with me. I was like really concerned and I was sad. Closing down for almost two months certainly hurt financially. I really think that we should have been open the whole time. But it also hurt to be called non-essential during the pandemic. Yeah, we were a little bit picked on, unfortunately, because we are essential. People still had to go to work. People still had to keep up their appearance. Some people's job required them to have their hair cut above their collar. I think that if this ever happens again, they might need to rethink what's essential. I know, I didn't really need a haircut. I ended up cutting my own. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Walmart said all the clippers and stuff just flew off the shelf <laughs> because we weren't open. But with the precautions of spreading people out in the salon for social distancing reasons, these stylists won't be able to serve as many customers as normal. We really can't have too many people in here. But for now, Sherry Baber is happy to be back at work. The lady that I'm working on is like my very first customer since I got back open and I was just so super excited to see her. Like it's like seeing an old family member that you haven't seen for a while. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6. Baber also told us even though she filed for unemployment during the pandemic, she has yet to receive any benefits from the Idaho Department of Labor, though she did get a response back right before she reopened this weekend.